back to another episode of Alan Wake. So we're just arriving at Bright Falls and uh, Alice wants me to take a picture. If we could keep my being here just between the two of us, I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this man. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah. Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Barry. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry. We're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. Just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. <laughs> Come on, let's get back to the park. And here we are. We need to stop it's only really grainy when it changes into like the uh, cinematic mode. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in say 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the O Deer Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking Mr. for Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh God, I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose. I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey. Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cut up from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. <laughs> She's just like, I don't want to be recognized at all. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Do me Nothing a favor, but... Sonny! I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Uh, it does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. But this is it. I've died and gone to hell. Okay. She's acting weird. Can I just push past? Nope. I have to go around. So much for a quiet vacation. The sudden stop. 
international bestseller. He's enjoying it though. Ooh. I think I can handle it now. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find stuff to, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Oh, that's creepy. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This will be all right. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <coughs> the Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Bye, Mr. Wake. That was weird. Did not trust that old lady at all. And the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Oh, good. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! That guy oh. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Padme in here on PBF I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. Feels like a proper like horror slash thriller movie. Here we are. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. Alice had a phobia, the fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Come on. It's dark in there. We need light. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Hello? Anyone here? Well, got the coffee fun. It's probably best to check the place out before I go out there because it might be uh, like a cutscene and I won't be able to go look into it. I had seen on the ferry. <laughs> what the hell? Damn. That was weird. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. Anything in here? Nope. Nope. Okay. 
Okay, I think that's just about everything to explore. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on a shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Probably a local writer, I guess. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Oh. Nice. Let there be light. I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Yeah, you're most likely wrong. Oh man, I got dark quick. Oh, what's that? The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. My cards are on no. <laughs> Alice? Honey? Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn it, Alice! You- Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey! Just hear me out! There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh. What do you fall over on? He didn't trip. Damn it. Alice? Alice? Alice! Oh boy, here we go. Oh shit. Alice, I'm coming. Go no right, I'm coming. No! What the hell? Alice, help me! Alice! No, no! Ah! Alice? Ah! Alice? Oh no! that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. All right, is there anything I can see? Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. 
I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Looks like our best hope, though. Well, if that's that way, then I'll double check. There's nothing like hidden up here. Okay, let's just keep heading down then, I guess. Damn. Oh, that's the car gone. Something. Hello? Is someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Let's see. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. Shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare, but I was awake. Oh. So it looks like we'll be collecting those along the way and then. I haven't played this game in years, as so I completely forgot about the manuscripts. I don't think that's a good guy. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Right, before we cross over that... See if there's um, any furthest or anything along the way. Nothing there. Is that too obvious for a firmest place? Guess so. I need help. Listen, I need to. Cabins for rent in. Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Please. To meet you. Non refundable reservation has required. Fair and square. Okay. So I need to find a weapon. Oh, there's a thermos. Oh, 
Jesus. Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Nice bit of ad placement there, energizing. <laughs> I wasn't about to open the door as long as I was liable to catch an axe with my forehead. Crap. That is Oh, good sign. Oh, crap. Oh, generator. There were more of them. a shooting range and now I just killed someone or something there were no bodies they just disappeared I was dreaming it felt really what is this sick. it's only highlighted by the light oh flag on nice that'll be the very useful was revealed by my flashlight someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it that's pretty cool though right? Guess yeah, just turn off this and then make our way. I mean you could have just the pressed the button the but last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. up here manuscript anything behind it no No, I have to go down there then, I guess. Ouch. What is that? Is she like trying to put crap into my head? What the hell was that? When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water.
A, I knew it would be one along here. So over this way. Ah, okay, cool. Found that one. Stucky was still out there in the dark. I'll do it. <laughs> Just kind of looking for firmnesses on the way. I'd imagine like these kind of big open areas has got to be quite a few. Down. Down where? Ah. That way. Assuming he's like underneath the tree. Oh no. We need to follow it up there. It's up here. They're taken. They're taken. They're filled with darkness. Ah, here we go. Fume batteries. Do I need notes at all? on the outside of the building they said they're um, when I saw the manuscripts one of them was highlighted with that flame symbol so I was thinking maybe the note was along there but maybe not unless it's like up here or something Just, just keep following the trail. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Well, at least we're fully loaded. Oh, 
that was close. Really close, in fact. What does this do? What does this do? Oh, God, no point. Oh, crap. That was bad. That was really bad for me. Did I have a flare? No. That would have been very handy at that point. Okay, so at least I know there's enemies there, but... Is there not a flare around? No. Got quite a few manuscripts. Oh, hello. You were needed long ago. Is there much um, shells at all? No, it doesn't look like it. That is going to be a really handy weapon, actually. Was a thermos over there. So we need you over here. You gonna be okay? Okay, I guess I have to go up there to be told to press the button or something. I mean, I know I have to get that working. Looks like we're okay, but you never really know. So we reach a checkpoint. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night! I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now. But I hope you feel all right. Ah. Yeah, I think you prefer the studio the way things are going. Okay, so it looks like we've almost made the gas station. It's not too far away. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Oh, 
And it's almost like when the darkness is consumed him, it just makes them repeat like their memories or something. This is not going to be good. Oh crap, crap, crap. Oh, I need to like dodge more. That was awful. Awful, awful, awful for me. Let's stay with the shotgun. Oh, that is splatter. So I think that's a sign of um, another one of the uh, things. Is there anything around here? Yes, there is. Let's oh, see. Oh, good. I'm going to use that straight away because that point was definitely crowded. Make sure I grab the manuscript as well. And the thermos. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. I'm just wondering if there's like manuscripts or anything I can find. One over there. Oh crap, 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 crap. Ah, oh, come on, that was hardly fair. <laughs> So pick that up, go around the back here to get the stuff. If you don't dodge, you're just going to die. Um... Okay. Let's do this again. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. I couldn't get out. <laughs> if I can get there straight away, I might have a chance of getting rid of some of the monsters. Oh, yeah, don't forget the... Uh...
and the thermos. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Oh, look at that. At a checkpoint, and some revolver ammo and some torch ammo. Torch ammo, torch batteries. There's another one. Where does it want me to go? Oh, down here. Oh, no thanks. Where does it want me to go? Up here. There we go. Finding these things are actually really helpful. That is a lot of people. Oh crap. Oh. Too close for my liking. Now we get a therm um, thermos manuscript. Shotgun ammo. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sega. No, you can't break the TV apparently, bulletproof. Alright, let's make sure everything's loaded. I've got 12, and so I'll probably use those first. That doesn't look a good sign at all.
Okay. That, I don't even know. Dodging is a pain in the ass in this game. But I think I'm going to leave that there anyway, guys. And I will see you in the next episode.